Hi pals, my name is Mel, or you can call me Milk, and welcome back to my channel. Just like it says in the title, in today's video, I'm going to be giving you some tips that I use to get over my Animal Crossing burnout. And face it, we're all facing the burnout right now. Um, but we're going to get back into getting invested and excited to play the game. And if this sounds like something that you could use, stick around and use these five tips. <laughs> Now, some of these tips might seem obvious to you, but just stay with me because you might hear some that you have not heard before and that could get you excited about Animal Crossing again. Tip one is to have a plan. Having some sort of plan for a section for your island or getting some ideas written down on paper is always a good first step to getting excited to log on. I have a video that touches this topic a little bit and how to make a build that you'll actually love. So if you'd like to watch a little bit more detail into that you can go watch that video but having a plan is always good to give you a reason to sign on and get excited the second tip is to take a break as sad as it sounds because you're watching this video because you want to keep playing this could actually help you find that love for the game again taking a step away from the game for a bit to play something else or even spend some time outside could give you inspiration for a build or a theme that you might want to do looking into other games shows or real life you can see things that might look good in animal crossing maybe you saw an area in disney dreamlight valley that you want to now try to recreate in animal crossing or a spot on a tv show that would look really cool on your island or even beautiful scenery in real life that you might just be able to take onto your island with the items that you have. Getting inspo from taking a break or even watching other YouTubers create videos on Animal Crossing could help create that spark for the game again. Tip number three is to make a challenge. Now, this step might be a temporary fix, but a step in the right direction, no less. Adding some sort of challenge to the game can help you forget about the lack of updates and just appreciate the game as it is. Creating a build with just 20 minutes on the clock, one color build challenge, hold island with no terraforming or a Nintendo online. Adding some sort of competition or contest to a build or your game in general can help get those creative juices flowing again. If you saw Nintendo Talk created a 30 day challenge where it's hard mode of Animal Crossing and there's a lot of people jumping into that, just something to make the game a little more exciting than playing it vanilla. We have two more tips left and I saved the best and my favorite tip for last. And I just wanted to say if you're enjoying this video so far or finding it helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'm a small creator so every single subscription and like truly does help and make my day. Also stay for the end of the video as I throw in a little bonus tip for you as well. Tip number four is to restart. Now this tip might not work for everyone as I know some people find the beginning of the game very frustrating. So I would save this tip for like a last ditch effort of finding some comfort and en entertainment in Animal Crossing again. And if you follow this tip and regret it, I am not to blame. I warned you. But seriously, starting the game over again can get you back into the groove of having a ton of things to do and progress on that could get you into having a reason to actually sign on every day with something to do. It can also give you a reason to try out a new theme or a new creation that you haven't tried before. Also just allowing you to express your creativity in a new way. Nothing gets rid of frustrations of the past like a nice fresh start. The final tip of today is my personal favorite, but don't just click away right after it because I do share one little extra tip at the end, but that is tip number five is to find nostalgia. Having the great memories of when the game first came out or even when the 2.0 update just dropped and remembering how exciting that was makes me feel a certain way. And I was thinking that if I could feel that way again, I would be interested in using this game as an escape again and finding comfort in it. I decided that playing the game in the summer gave me that sort of serotonin that I had at the beginning like in-game summertime and even further just doing simple builds or lighting a certain candle when I play because it has this it was the same candle smell that I was burning when I first played the game and the smell just gives me that nostalgia just little things like that to have a flashback to when I was obsessed with the game and playing it all the time to remind me why I liked playing the game in the first place 
This brings us to our fun little bonus tip that plays off of tip number five, which is listening to the actual in-game music. I find that sometimes I play Animal Crossing when I'm watching a show or distracted by playing my own music. So just turning off everything else and turning up that Animal Crossing music actually gives me nostalgia as well with the songs. So that also helps me kind of get that nostalgia of the game and be excited to play it again. Well, that is going to do it today. I hope all these tips helped you and you find yourself inspired again to play Animal Crossing, even if it's just for another day. But regardless, burnout's going to happen, and that's okay. Sometimes it just gives some room to discover something else that we will enjoy. But as always, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and check out some of my other content. And I highly recommend subscribing if you would like, as I upload at least one video a week and have a huge list of upcoming videos that I am so excited for, and I think you will be as well. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!